I'm just eating my morning snack now, which are some raspberries. Just kidding, raspberries and a whisper bar. Recently I've been getting some messages and some emails from people asking me if they're eating enough. I mean, I went onto the internet a plethora of times and googled how many calories do I need from those personalized calorie counter machines. The amount of calories that they told me I needed was just peanuts and it screwed with my head so much because I was like, obviously I'm eating enough then, I'm not restricting and I still felt so hungry. I still was thinking about food all the time. Really it was just because I was restricting. Hunger comes in the form of physical hunger and mental hunger, but I didn't give credit to my mental hunger. I didn't see it as a legitimate piece of information to say that your body is starving. <laughs> and so I was thinking about food all the time and going crazy about food, but I knew that I was eating enough. I knew I was eating enough because the calculators told me that I was eating enough. I wasn't eating enough. Even if you doubled the amount of calories of what you needed and you still felt hungry that means you're still restricting restriction is getting lower calorie foods to increase your volume your body is starving and you want to have the illusion that you're eating more food eating disorders are so sneaky you can really go about your day looking as if you're eating a lot of food everyone around you sees that you're eating a lot or eating foods like chocolate oh if you're eating chocolate then you must be fine Right, that's true. Eating chocolate is a win. But if I only decided that I was going to eat half a bar of this chocolate, that is restricting. I've got lunch coming up soon. This is glutinous rice dumpling with fatty pork inside. A minimum meal plan. This meal plan was a baseline. I had to do this or more and typically I would do more. I could listen to my hunger cues and eat when I felt hungry physically but I also had to stay to a minimum meal plan when I didn't feel hungry. Over a couple of days when I started eating food again the extreme hunger kicked in and I felt hungry. I felt hungry. <laughs> the important thing that I had to remember was that when I was hungry I had to eat no matter what, no matter if I've already eaten my meal plan, no matter if I had a big cheeseburger with fries and if I was hungry I had to keep eating and that's like the scariest thing. If I slathered peanut butter all over my bread instead of putting a little scraping of peanut butter on my bread that didn't mean anything and once I made a new minimum for myself, once I made a new habit I never felt anxious to put more peanut butter on my bread anymore. But that's great because now I'm not limited to putting only a scraping of peanut butter on my bread. I had to keep making sure that I was eating to my meal plan or above. I could never eat below it because once I'd eaten below it the next day I had to eat the same or I had to do less. And it's just such a tiring cycle. Satiate yourself, eat what you want because otherwise the cycle will never end. Okay, I'm kind of hungry, I need to get my afternoon snack. making it sound so simple and it's not it's hard it's really hard couldn't just snap my fingers and I could trust my hunger cues that's definitely not what happened so I understand if you're listening to me and you're like I don't trust anything that you're saying 
I'm not going to eat as much as I want to eat because I'm going to just get fat. That is a true fear. One of my biggest eating disorder fears was that I was going to get fat. My body physically felt like it could eat so much and that is so scary because I thought I was always going to feel like I could eat so much. But as your body slowly and surely gets out of the energy deficit, the cravings and the urgency to eat will subside. Of course I'm always going to want burgers and cake and I'm always going to be able to eat burgers and cake but I'm not going to need it in the same way that I need it now. One of my fears was that I could eat unrestricted but I was so scared of how long I was able to eat unrestricted like I had some kind of time limit or something. If you're thinking when do I need to stop eating unrestricted that is a sign that you are not out of an energy deficit. Getting out of an energy deficit happens naturally and seamlessly. You don't have to manipulate it, you don't have to think about it, and you don't need to control it. I hated the rules that I lived under, but those rules kept me safe. And in that time, it did feel like a legitimate reason to not do this. I guess I just had to decide whether I wanted to live under a set of rules that kept me safe or I wanted to head out and explore and see if there's anything better. And I didn't do it on my own. I had so much support from my mother who came to eat with me every single day. All I can say is use your support system. And once you get into the habit of doing it, it becomes natural and now I'm able to eat unrestricted without anybody telling me to. All of these things work for me. They might not necessarily apply to you. Please take the advice that is helpful to you and leave the rest. I guess that's all I have to say for today. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. I love reading all your messages. Of course, subscribe to this channel so that you can see the videos that are coming up every week. Thank you for watching. Mwah.